The popular relic of the past is seemingly taking a new direction back into the mainstream. According to the Wall Street Journal, there's been a steady rise in the sale of paper maps. NBC's Sam Brock explains what's driving the trend. The parodies on paper maps are almost too perfect. When your grandparents don't know that GPS is a thing. With some TikTokers mocking holiday dads for preferring maps to GPS navs or noting a generational disconnect. Sorry, we don't speak boomer. Even the best movie references to the once cherished directional tools are from the 90s. Look at the number on the top. What is the number on the there top? There are of no maps? numbers on the top. There's letters. Oh! Whether clueless. Don't fold the maps. I didn't fold the map. Yeah, well, Kansas is a mess. There's a big crease right through Wichita. Or Twister. But don't sleep on millennials bringing them back into popular culture. I love maps. Oh my gosh, they're so much fun. With business owner Tony Rodono of the map shop in Charlotte trying to pin down the surging appeal. If you simply want to get from point A to point B, by all means, you know, listen to the GPS robot voice. Uh, but if you want to understand the world around you, the robot voice can't help. You know, maps offer context and clues as to, you know, why a place is like it is and how you stand in relationship to the places around you. As the Wall Street Journal points out in a recent piece headlined, Forget Google Maps, Why Paper Map Sales Are Booming, a combination of maps as art and the search for a bigger picture from younger travelers has sparked a sizable jump in sales. Great Britain's national mapping agency, Ordnance Survey, reported 144% pop in 2020, and then a 28% increase the next year. AAA made 123% more maps in 2022 than in 2021. And it's not just the traditional variety drawing interest. Rodano sells raised relief maps, which add elevation and texture from the Sierra Nevada to the Rockies. Yeah, there's plenty of mountain ranges, but the Rockies are significantly bigger than any other mountain range. And I think a lot of people just don't know that. And you can't understand that with GPS, obviously. And you can't even understand that with a flat map sometimes. So while the learning process around these old gems is ongoing. So you read it like like left to right? The love for a new, off-the-beaten-path approach to getting around is just starting to grow.